Hello everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn Rematches, Razor vs. Pussycat. Both bots have been changed, so we're actually going to show some new looking bots. This is all we got for Razor. He's got now Shremak wings, whatever you want to call them, they just fire the opposite way. Realistically, if we wanted to make this look accurate, those burst motors need to be flipped the other way with the pivot point at the top of the beak, not the bottom. But whatever, we got a working one, right? And now for the new Pussycat. He was completely rebuilt from the ground up. His main issue was that he was way too big and he weighed too much and he was too damn slow and the weapon didn't work. So basically everything was wrong with him. So that's why everything has changed. He's a lot smaller, the weapon's a little better, and the wheel system seems to work pretty well. I don't know if he'll actually get tipped or not. I've never seen it yet, so we'll see. From Boom, Razor. From Gloucester, Pussycat. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Two fear. Oh, well, a computer glitch immediately. Can we cut the music? Well, no, not, not now. It came back. Okay, well, there's a bit of a terrible start to this. It's Razor versus Pussycat, two bots that really, really don't like each other. Razor wanting this rematch. He feels that both of the real life fights were a little. A little skeptical to say the least. Especially after the good start he had gotten to the second fight, where he had lifted Pussycat up. He'd call them lucky shots, and we're here to prove or disprove that today. It's Razor being the aggressive one, getting under Pussycat at the start here. Couple shots, and then Razor going for the pit release, but apparently missing it. it looked like he hit it there. Well, now he definitely hits it. The pit release activated. Razor having a decent time getting under Pussycat, but the problem is Pussycat's such an awkwardly shaped bot and turns so quickly that that blade is always in front. And Razor with the chassis right at the front there. He's susceptible to a lot of damage and he's taken quite a little bit so far. You can see scuff marks on the wedge there, especially in the left corner. Pussycat doing well, keeping that blade in front. Razor cannot get any clean bites. There's a good chance for Razor. Up underneath, can't make the most of it, can't bring the beak down. But now smoke coming from Pussycat, and that looks like it's the weapon motor. So Razor in the ascendancy here. When the bowling balls from the drop zone fall for no apparent reason, I didn't think either of them were close to it. Razor hitting one of the bowling balls out of the way, then going back for Pussycat, who has him smoking. And in fact, up against it and nearly knocked out. This is going to be... A knockout for Pussycat in a few seconds if Razor isn't careful. He's not careful! Cease. And just like that, it's over! Pussycat's won it! I've always questioned how Pussycat was such a successful bot, but even the recreate is showing the awkward design and the weapon is powerful enough to do a lot of damage. Pussycat with a fairly comfortable victory there. Three, two, one. So, round two begins. And with no computer bullshit this time, so that's nice. We're already doing better than the first fight. Can Razor also do better than he did in the first fight? Was pretty overwhelmed with some amazing pussycat defense, and we're already seeing it again. Keeping the blade in front, and Razor gets frustrated enough to attack the front, but there goes a tooth from the pussycat blade! So Razor's causing damage, and that's what happens when they get their shots just right. What cost will it come out though? He's already got a little bit of body damage. If you look at his little stat box in the upper left corner, he's able to get underneath Pussycat often. That's not the problem. The problem is that that wedge is also his chassis. Ooh, Pussycat got under Razor there for a second as they both hit the wall. What can Razor do in this fight? Well, standing on the flame pit's probably not a smart idea. Oh, it looks like he got another tooth from Pussycat. Well, that's the strategy. Four teeth, and he's he's got two of them, I believe. He's just got to be careful, and he's got to be accurate. You see him missing now. He's expecting to get under Pussycat every time. There's a nice drive. What can he do with it? Well, nothing, apparently. Pussycat, though, flipping him. What a maneuver this is from Pussycat, and he's taking advantage of the opportunity, causing damage, not allowing Razor to self-right until a lot of shots were off. Razor's now back on his feet. Good to see the wings working. But what's not working is whatever strategy he's trying in this fight. And Pussycat close to another victory. Razor going in, getting another tooth. And the weapon motor smoking. He needs to be careful here, and he's not! 
seeks. Pussycat catches him cold again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Pussycat has won the series two to nothing, proving, perhaps once and for all, that these aren't fluky wins and proving to me that he actually is a good bot. Well done, Pussycat. So the bragging rights have been decided, but of course we're not done here because now every time a bot wins a rematch series two to nothing, we have a third fight regardless, but with a special twist. Here is the Wheel of Mayhem, of course. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below and we'll add to it as we go. But now these are the eight and it's time to spin the wheel and see what we get. Drum roll. <laughs> And it's inverted controls. So inverted controls isn't exactly what you think. Not only are up and down and left and right reversed, but it's actually technically done twice. So in this case, going forward is your right key, going backwards is your left key, turning left is your down key, and turning right is your up key. So we kind of did a double cross there. So it's going to be double difficult. So expect some bad driving. And at the third round begin with inverted controls. I tell you, at first it seems like Pussycat's favorite here because Razor was already struggling to get any good attacks. So he'll be struggling more. But if you think about it, it's Pussycat's great defense that has got him two victories. Also his good attack, so we'll see in just a little while when we get the result, I guess. Both bots trying to figure out the best strategy here to go without with their controls. Pussycat again doing a good job though of keeping the blade in front. Razor really struggling to figure it out. I don't even know if I've seen him turn right yet. Are they trying to eliminate half the controls? Razor with a bad attack slowing down exposing his behind to Pussycat who was able to get a few shavings and both bots on the floor flipper a little too long. I'm surprised it didn't deploy. And I wish it did a little bit quicker quicker than normal. Razor trying to reset. It's Pussycat being the more aggressive, while Razor, I think, is still struggling to figure it out. So it does look like it is benefiting Pussycat, who can really stay in one place and turn fairly easily. But both bots just looking absolutely ridiculous. Maybe a little drunk and high. Razor spinning in a circle, trying to get a bite. Scared to attack, also it seems. In fear of making a mistake, but there's a decent little a little jab towards the weapon motor of Pussycat, which is just just exposed enough to be a problem as we saw in the first fight when Razor got it smoking. How have we already had nearly two minutes of this fight? Wait a minute! When did a wheel go missing from Razor? Have I not been paying attention? Razor's back right wheel is gone. I don't even know where it is in the arena floor. You guys see it? I don't see it. But Razor's missing a wheel. I hope it hadn't been too long since me noticing that from when it actually happened. But Razor's task has gotten increasingly more difficult. In fact, it looks like he'll, it'll be over soon. His status bar already blinking. I think he knows it's over as well. What hope does he have left? Can he get the drop zone item to fall on Pussycat? I think Pussycat's outsmarted him there. And he's got in with a good shot. Razor now smoking. The end is near for Razor. It'll be another failed set of fights for him. Oh, and there it is. The critical blow. Pussycat wins again. Cease. When I originally wrote down inverted controls as an option for the Wheel of Mayhem, I didn't think it would actually be as difficult as that was, because that was very hard to drive. Like, you're trying to picture it, and in the heat of the moment, you click what would normally be forward, backward, left, or right, and then you're spinning in a circle, and then it's just panic. So I'm actually glad at how that worked out. That worked out pretty well, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it was not the most entertaining of fights. So today's outro question is this. Lucky shots or was Pussycat good? Because quite frankly, I've always, I think, underrated Pussycat. And especially compared to Razor, um, I don't know. It seemed like Pussycat did it twice too quickly. So it could be skill or it could be coincidental. What do you think? Have your say below. And if you want to see more from each recreated design, check out Robot Wars Reborn on this channel. Razor appeared in episode 7, Pussycat appeared in episode 9, also check them both out in Robot Wars Reborn Cup.
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh my god damn it, it's a Robot Wars rematch, not BattleBots. Hold on a second. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. So which of Doodle's recreations will take the bragging rights here today?